is Texas, home to the Resistall Hat Factory, where they've been making cowboy hats almost as long as America's made cowboys. Their best hats are made from a costly concoction of beaver, rabbit, and wild hair. A single prize beaver pelt could set you back $270. Fur arrives at the factory in bales, where it's layered together by hand, then shredded and thoroughly mixed by machine. The problem is, this new fur fusion is too densely packed, so it's sucked into vast 30-foot high blowing machines, which partly separate the fibers. The problem is, it still contains longer fibers, which corrupt top quality felt. So this priceless antique machine draws out the long hairs and rolls out blankets of unadulterated short fur. This fur needs to be able to withstand heat, cold, and friction. But in order to be tough enough for the Wild West, it has to become felt. Weighted into hat-sized portions, the fur is fed into the forming machine a 5,000-watt vacuum that sucks the fibers onto a spinning metal cone. These giant three-foot-long hat cones are then retrieved by the former, whose craft has been handed down from generation to generation. He wraps the cones in wet cloth and plunges them into hot water. The hot water loosens the fibers, then giant rollers press them together to bind them into dense felt. Then the hats are machine rolled to further tighten the binding fur. As the felt constricts, the hat becomes denser, smaller, and stronger. But there's still that problem of the appearance. These hats are more medieval peasant than Butch Cassidy. The solution is a vigorous machine shaping and steaming process, which creates the basic cowboy hat. The trouble is, basic is all they are hardly fit for a rodeo star. To rectify that, the hats travel 125 miles across the state to a finishing factory in Garland. This is the largest cowboy hat finishing factory in the world. It receives 2,700 hats every week, each one tagged with instructions for the finished order. The basic hat is far too floppy for a hard-riding cowboy. The key to hardening it is a resin called shellac, Secreted by insects, it's also used to give the shiny covering to candy and mints. Hats are then air dried in mass before being steamed and shaped for specific head sizes. But they're still not cowboy hats until the crown is formed, which helps to insulate the wearer's head and protect against rain. So another shaping machine presses the characteristic dents into the felt before they're passed to the trim department to acquire bands and lining. All that's left is for the quality control to okay the finished product before it's boxed up and ready for delivery.